Apple is a company that's known for its groundbreaking technology in its iPhones, AirPods, and other smart devices. So why not a smart car? Back in 2014, Apple announced that it had begun work on what they called Project Titan. This project involved more than 1,000 vehicle engineers designing an electric vehicle at a secret location in Cupertino. Back in 2016, a rumor began to circulate that Apple planned to put the concept on the shelves and not work on it anymore. These rumors began after some leadership issues and other problems within the company itself. In December of 2020, we got a big update that had many people, myself included, excited. Apple confirmed that it is still working on their line of electric vehicles, and the plan is to release release it within the next three to six years. Reuters has stated that Apple is aiming for a 2024 release, but others speculate that there will be more within the range of 2025 to 2027. This venture into the world of cars means that Apple will be working with a manufacturing partner to produce the electric cars. Initially, a partnership was discussed between Apple and Hyundai Kia. This would prove beneficial for Apple for a few reasons. One of the biggest being Hyundai and Kia already have a steady foot in the automotive industry. Also, if Apple works with Hyundai, they will be able to base some of the vehicle designs on some already tested vehicles that are currently in production at Hyundai. The rumors also began to suggest that Apple was considering Hyundai Kia for partnership because this deal would be what gave Apple access to an already established production point across North America. Although they would be partnered up, it was reported that Hyundai Kia would be willing to allow Apple to maintain control over both Apple Car and the software that was designed for it. This being because Apple had plans to eventually have the car be Apple branded and Apple alone, rather than a Kia that included Apple components. Which is a fairly generous thing for Hyundai Kia to offer during a partnership deal. They would essentially help Apple get its leg in the automotive industry without needing to put their names on Apple's product. Even though many rumors were circulating that said Apple was close to establishing a deal with Hyundai and Kia, Bloomberg has recently reported that Apple has placed the talks of a partnership on hold and has also been discussing the Apple Car's plans with other automobile manufacturers. Some are saying that Apple is upset with Hyundai for confirming that it was in talks with Apple even though after the fact Hyundai retracted and changed its statement. And it would appear that this has fully tabled the discussion between the tech giant and Hyundai. Hyundai and Kia both said in February that they are in no way discussing the development of a self-driving vehicle with Apple. It is currently not clear if the talk will continue between the three companies. Apple had also allegedly come to Nissan with the idea of a potential partnership, but negotiations were brief and due to a disagreement did not make it close to becoming an actual deal. Apparently, the two companies were clashing over the fact that Nissan was concerned Apple had plans to downgrade them to a simple hardware supplier. It would appear Apple wants full control of its vehicle design and software, and this has resulted in Nissan confirming that it is not in talks with Apple to form a deal. Some good news for Apple is coming from the Korea Times, in which they reported that Apple is very close to signing a deal with LG to incorporate the design of the LG Magna E powertrain. They say that Apple is comfortable with LG Magna E powertrain's smaller manufacturing capacity. I think this may indicate that Apple plans to produce their electric vehicle on a smaller scale compared to that of other major auto manufacturers. If the two companies do reach an agreement on the LG Magna E powertrain, LG and Apple will then establish precise details about the production of the Apple car, starting with a prototype that may be teased as early as 2024. This will of course lead to the first generation of vehicles which will more than likely be an opportunity to evaluate the marketability of their concept rather than a full mass vehicle launch. I for one cannot wait to hear more about what may come from the Apple electric vehicle. With their plans to keep their products to themselves and maintain the solo Apple branding, you can only wonder what kind of software they will have coming down the production line. Partnering up with LG seems like it would be a major step in the right direction. Hopefully we will have word on that in the coming weeks.